So you can always DM us at Ben and Kelly show and we'll turn around, maybe toss it out to our listeners, see if we can get a little bit of uh, uh, perspective for you. And I know, I mean, and we've we've done this before where, you know, it's like picking out a name for a baby. That is some serious pressure. Oh, yeah. A lot of parents put pressure on themselves because they want to make sure that they're picking something that's going to have like no chance of being made fun of by other kids or or anything like that. And it's, you know, it's the name that your kid's going to be stuck with the rest of their life. Blessed with the rest of their life. Blessed with. Yes. <laughs> Blessed with. Yeah. And, you know, what? whether it's a, uh, a family name or whether it's, uh, you know, a name that you just really like, you know, there are a lot of factors. And yep. And uh, Beth has sent us a DM, and we'll try to help her out here. Yeah, she says, I need your input. Before I had my first child, I worked at an alternative school. Mm -hmm. I cared deeply for many of my students. And Mm -hmm. after I left, I kept track of how some of them were doing. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm expecting twins, and I'm torn about whether or not it would be strange to give one of them the same name as one of my favorite students. Mm. I've always liked this name. And even before I knew this student... Now, I wouldn't name the baby after that student, but the okay. name would always hold some sort of special meaning for me. Mm-hmm. Sadly, this boy dropped out of school, started dealing drugs, and recently passed away <laughs> at a young age Aww. while attempting to commit an armed robbery. Oof. It's a tragic story. Yeah. Despite this, I know he was truly a special person who just simply chose a bad path. Mm. My husband knew him as well. And although he's not against the name, he isn't exactly for it. Mm. Am I crazy to even consider it? Thanks and love your show. Oh, man, that is that is tough. It's like it's like, uh, you know, a name. But there's there's a little bit of history on that name. Yeah. And I'm guessing husband is kind of thinking as is there like weird sort of karma attached to that? Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Like it, it, that may be his line of thinking, but 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 from another okay, so in a different sort of way, mm-hmm. you know, there are people, and we've had uh, listeners reach out that have said, you know, hey, my um, my husband wants to name our son the same name as uh, an ex of mine that it was really bad to me right you know and that had bad memories attached to that name. but yeah. but like it's a family name or something and the, and the, the husband's really into it you know and so it's a different type of situation i get but at the same time i almost feel like there's an opportunity here to do it justice yeah i i, I feel know. like it's really sweet to want to honor, you know, the the great part of that kid that she knew. Right. And, you know, uh, you know just aside from the unfortunate circumstance of what happened. Of surrounding it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I, I think it's really sweet to, especially if she liked the name even before it became attached to that student. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't think, I don't think you're crazy to want that as the name of one of your twins. I think that's a great. I don't think that anyone is really going to know the connection in your mind you're making with that name. And I don't think your husband needs to be concerned that it's going to attach some sort of weird, like he's going to follow the same path kind of a thing to your child. Right. Pave your own path. Yeah. Exactly. Do the name justice. And then, you know what? Honestly, after a couple months with your kids and, and living in that, world with your kids calling your kids that name it, you're not even yes. gonna think about it anymore no your son is going to be your son and yep. that's going to be his name yep and and that's how you're going to identify it that's how we would approach it right mm-hmm. e- and again i don't think you know anybody else needs to even know the backstory of how you landed on that name yeah if you're concerned about it yeah and you know what jessica she texts in and says look name your child after him and holds a special place your heart so, yeah, that's uh, that's good. That's Yeah, good. I, th- I think it really honors, like, you knew the true heart of that kid. Mm. And, you know, and all the best that he brought to your classroom. Another suggestion from a listener, since the husband's not on board, maybe make it a middle name. I mean, again, I think, yes, I, you could do that, but I don't think there's anything wrong with uh, pushing to have that as, as the name of your kid. So 
Yeah, either way. I I don't think it's a bad thing at all. I don't think you need to be concerned about it or worried about it or discount it because Mm -hmm. of, you know, the the kid that you knew. Uh Uh-huh, 100%. Beth, congrats. Good luck. Hopefully that helps a little bit. That's what we try to do, at least. Yes, I think, you know, it's a good thing. Enjoy your babies. (laughs) (laughs) There it is.